result of negligence it was evening gattu and jinki were returning home after school as they came closer to their house both of them started running as soon as they came near the house they took off their shoes left it at the door and went inside mom mom where are you both of them slammed their bags and water bottles on the couch and started shouting mom we are going to play saying this both of them ran towards the ground their mother came from the kitchen and saw both of their bags were laying on the couch when their mother came near the door she saw that gattu and chinki's shoes were scattered in front of the door their habits are getting worse day by day both of them are becoming careless neither they ate anything nor did they get freshened up didn't even change their school uniform and just jumped off to play like that mom picked up both of their shoes and put them in the shoe stand then she came to the hall and picked up both of their school bags and kept them in their room and got busy in the kitchen chores at night gattu and chinki were watching tv with dad when mom came and said why don't you say something to the kids both of them are becoming careless when they come back from the school they leave the shoes in front of the door slam their bags on the couch and go to play without even changing the school uniforms this behavior is not right now they have grown up at least they should do their own work properly after hearing this gattu and chinki got scared they felt that now their father will definitely scold them but their father also took their side oh, leave it they are just kids they will become careful now watch the tv and let us also watch in this way dad saved gattu and chinki the next day when gattu and chinki were returning back from the school they met bunty on the way hey gattu chinki why have you come so late we had an extra class we are going to play football do you also want to come yes yes let us just keep our bags at home gattu and chinki ran towards their house As soon as they came in front of the house, both of them left their shoes scattered in front of the door and left their bag on the couch. Then both got freshened up and ran towards the ground. When their mother came out of the kitchen, she got angry after seeing Gattu and Chinki's carelessness. Huh, today I will neither pick up their bags nor their shoes. I will just do my own work. Saying this, their mother went to the kitchen. In the evening, when their father was returning from the office, he was talking on the phone. Their father's attention did not go to the shoes scattered on the floor, and their father stumbled on a shoe and fell down. Ah! Oh my God! Please come outside! Hurry up! After hearing their father's voice, their mother ran out immediately and saw him fallen on the ground. Oh, hey! Are you okay? Let's go inside. Come. Saying this, their mother picked their father up and went inside. When Gattu and Chinki came home, they saw their father was lying on the bed screaming, and their mother was giving him hot compress. Ah! Oh God! Ah! Gattu and Chinki got worried after seeing their father's condition. Dad, what happened to you? Kids, stay calm. I'm not in a condition to talk. Mom, what happened to dad? This is all the result of your negligence. If you had kept your shoes in the stand, it would not have happened. Your father slipped off your shoes and fell on the floor. Ah. Seeing their father's condition, Gattu and Chinki realized their mistake. Sorry dad, because of our negligence you are in this condition. Gattu, Chinki, your mother was right. If you had done your work properly, all this would not have happened. Ah. See, yesterday you were stopping me from scolding them. Every day I pick their shoes. I keep their school bags in their room, and both of them just run away to play. Today just because I did not pick anything, all of this happened. I have a lot of household work to do. They should at least do their own work properly. Mom, dad, we have realized our mistake. If we had kept our shoes in the shoe stand, kept our bags in the room, had gone to play after eating something peacefully, then neither dad would have got hurt nor you. Now onwards, we will take care so that you don't face more troubles because of us. Yes, mom. We have understood the result of our negligence. We will take care of that. 
you have realized your mistake but your punishment is still pending what will be the punishment your punishment is that you will have to massage dad's feet so tell me do you agree yes we agree in this way gattu and chinki got the lesson of self reliance and their punishment for negligence 